Welcome to this video on using Microsoft Word to transcribe your thoughts or meeting notes really easily. So I sometimes like to use this rather than take notes because it's hard to listen and to type, um, especially if the conversation is going quite fast. So I find that things like Microsoft Word and other recording tools are really useful to record what's going on. Now, if you're in a meeting, you might be able to set up the transcription and the system will automatically record it for you. But if you're in the room or you're on a different tool and you don't have access to that functionality, or you're just having a conversation or talking about your thoughts out loud and trying to map out some processes in your head and things like that, then the Dictate tool on Microsoft Word will work really useful for you and once you've got the information in there, you obviously, in Microsoft Word, you can make edits, you can change things. It might not fully pick up your accent depending on how you sound. Some dictation tools don't work really well with my northern accent, but I know they are getting better. So really quick and easy way you can transcribe your thoughts on meeting notes. So when you're in Microsoft Word, you're going to open up a blank document or a document where you're just going to start to transcribe into and in the toolbar in the ribbon you're going to click on dictate and now the system is automatically listening and you can see on the screen there it's starting to dictate and transcribe everything that I'm saying into my microphone right now and it's going to be trying clever it's going to make sure it changes things as I'm going through. You can see how it's working really nicely. You can obviously put full stops in there if you need to. It will start new paragraphs where it needs to. It might not do certain things, especially if you're talking quite fast, but once you've got it on there, you can then, like I said, go back in and make any edits and any changes. And I find this super useful rather than typing out my thoughts afterwards. I've got the information already on there. I can delete what isn't relevant and I can just get on with it and move it quickly into whatever format I need it to be. So really nice, really simple, quick video. You can see there I've got my dictate tools available and open. There are a few bits of functionality that's available. So if I just go into the settings and show you the settings, you can see my microphone is the blue snowball. That's the one that I use to record all my videos. But there are other options. It will generally detect what you've got available. It will default to whatever you're using. I was already using the blue snowball on a different tool. So this is why it defaulted to that one. And you can change the spoken language as well to help it understand what's going on. So if I speak any other language like bonjour, we can see what it might pick up. You've got sensitive phrase filter and auto punctuation. You can enable that. So I'm going to turn that on so it can kind of pick up my full stops and things like that. Click on OK. And I do need to start it off again. So let's get started on that one. And you can see it's now listening and it will have made some of those changes. You can see there is added a full stop because I've paused. So that's a really nice way of just making it easier to do that edit process afterwards. And if you're not sure on how this is working, there is a help option as well. You can see that's appeared. I am on a MacBook rather than a PC. So that's why my Mac help has appeared if you need any help using the dictation tool. And just be aware, like mine has, if you ever click off or onto anything else, it will stop recording and you need to go back onto it and click the button again to start the system from recording and once you're done click on that button to stop it or you can say pause dictation and it will stop recording just click on that cross to move that tool away and then you can go in and you can edit and make changes you can file and save and do what you need to do or just copy and paste it and share it with other people so really nice way of getting those thoughts down rather than having to type out loads Please do have a go at that one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.